Hello everybody and welcome to another Stardew Valley gameplay video. I was told to always check out a uh, the weather reporter or the fortune teller, always check out the TV every day. So uh, let's do that every day. Uh oh, apparently my life is going to be difficult today. Alright, well that's good, to, that's good to know. It's good to be warned I suppose. To know that in beforehand status. Um, I think I'm gonna worry about fishing right now. I was given some advice, and I'm gonna take it to heart. Uh, fishing and getting all the spring crop and uh, all those bundles is gonna be more important, I was told, than things like mining and getting further down in the mines. So, with that in mind, get, see what I did there? See what I did there? Mining, in mind. Anyway, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and try to focus a little bit more today on just kind of trying to be uh, a little bit of a fisherman. And especially with this hat, which I do like this hat to be honest with you. Very glad I spent a thousand dollars on it. Totally would do that in real life too. <laughs> Somebody sell me this hat! Uh, and um, you know, and also farming and just the basics of, of normal life is going to be where I get my money and where I'd be spending my time today. Where I'd be spending my time? Can you speak in correct grammar please? Thank you Skim, thank you. Much obliged. Alright, well. This is definitely step one for me, is going to be getting everything planted and watered up for the day. I've got a ton of flowers I'm picking up, i got a ton of lots of things I'm picking up. Now the flowers I'm going to be keeping primarily for use as gifts, because I have come to the realization, or at least I've been told, the game has kind of told me it too, that a, flowers make really good gifts, especially for certain ladies that I may want to uh, court. So, you know what, I have to, I have a guess. Now, I, I kind of studied a little bit. I wouldn't say studied. I've read books and I've watched uh, series and videos and documentaries on like the English court and stuff like that, like the Tudors and, and uh, the Bolins. And uh, in France, you know, you have uh, uh, whatever they are. A whole bunch of different <laughs> kind of uh, groups of people uh, and famous rich, uh, rich families. And I've always thought it was kind of interesting. I wonder if the term, you know, to court somebody comes from court. I believe it probably does. Uh, I think it does. I'm not 100% sure, but it would make sense to me at least if that were the case. Pick these up as I'm walking around because I do want to keep those, get them prepared for field snacks. There will be a time when I need that to be done. Uh, so what's going to be the focus for today? Like I said, the focus for today is going to be fishing. And it's going to be uh, kind of planting and stuff like that. Now I can, I have the money. I have the resources. We can plant more stuff. I think we probably should. Let's also grab some uh, salmon berries. Just, you know, haphazardly as we walk around. If we see them, we'll grab them. I don't think I'll be hunting for them today. Uh, they didn't really bring me too much money. Oh, and something else. I've got tea with me. I have sleepy time tea because it's getting close to bedtime. And uh, I want to sleep well tonight. I haven't been sleeping well recently. But this is so delicious. <sighs> That's the sound of me drinking tea. And I am so happy, so happy that oh, close on Wednesdays. Are you kidding me? Dang. <laughs> so happy I was introduced to Sleepy Time Tea, and it has become a awesome big part of my life. And uh, I will continue to enjoy it for uh, for many, many more Sleepy Times to come. But I tell you this in case you randomly hear me stop uh, speaking, or if you hear like my cup smash down on a uh, on the table on the desk, I should say, it's it's only because I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually just kind of having sleepy time tea. So don't worry about it. I'm okay, I'm here. Oh, I didn't bring my fishing pole. Really, Skim? Really? You gonna be that guy? You gonna be that guy today. Should I just buy a new fishing pole? Uh, do I have anything for you? I don't have any gifts for you. Abigail, right? If I say anything rude, I didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, you're good, you're good, but I'd like to... I'd like to give you a gift. You're uh, you're kind of cute, and I'd like to give you a gift. I just don't have anything for you. Ah, bummer. Okay, well let's uh, let's go buy a new fishing pole because why not? You know what? I could I could like, ooh, bunch of things right here. Ah, uh, and there you go. That's that right there. That cackle, cockle, cockle and mussels a lie, lie, lie. Oh, old song, old Irish song. I think that my grandfather used to sing me. Getting sentimental right there, guys. Sorry. Mm. It's the tea. You know what? It's probably not like appropriate or nice to be drinking tea when I could be like hanging out with you guys. But at the same time, I realized something. Uh, I'm allowed to eat tea, 
and uh, be happy. So I'm going to do so. I'm going to do so. We did it. We bought the fishing pole. We splurged. It's here. It's in our inventory. It was really because I was lazy. But, uh, but you know, fishing is a good thing anyway. Ah, I want to fish for largemouth bass, I think, up, up, up top. I think I have all the sea things that I need from this particular area. And I need river fish and also... Yeah, I got a sardine, didn't I? Did I sell it? Did I sell a sardine? I might have, guys. But I totally get that it's not really quite appropriate for me to be talking to you guys and also at the same time. Give me this. Dang it, I, I'm worse at actually getting these, uh, these, like these, uh, treasures than I am actually getting the fish. I think it's funny that I, that I'm so bad at it. Anchovy, did I put the sardine in there? I don't know anymore. Uh, should I fish out a sardine then? I might want to try. I might want to at least try to. Seaweed, salmon berries. I could always eat those for energy if I have to. They're only worth 10 gold a piece. That's like 40 gold right there. That's not much. That's like one seed basically. Let's see this. Come on. Give me something good. I need to watch Happy Feet again. Sardine! Okay, so that's good. Just in case... I can't hit you with this, can I? Will I scare you away? No, it doesn't. Huh. I was wondering if I could, like, interact with the bird in some way with the fishing pole. Would've been kinda cool. Oh! Oh! Yeah, perfect! Perfect score! Another pretty useless sardine. Thank you! This is what I wanted to see if it was over here. Not that I knew that it would be over here, but I was wondering if perhaps there was one right near me. I don't think I'm quite in it. There you go. Now I'm in it. Let's get some fishing done, guys. Some night fishing should be done too pretty soon. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. A herring! With a herring! You already know that joke, though. Besides, it's probably not funny to most people who haven't seen Monty Python. Alright, there you go. That's a pretty good one. A sardine. Let's get that one a little bit further. Come on, you should be in it. Come on, something beautiful. Something my children would be proud of me for. I do like this game. I, you want know If Animal Crossing had farming like this... Or if this had some, some of the aspects of Animal Crossing, I think that I'd be totally, totally madly in love with the game. Right now, I like it very much so. I very much like this game, but I'm not totally, hopelessly in love with it. Unlike this Sleepy Time Tea, which I'm pretty hopelessly in love with right now, to be honest with you. Some people tell me that I should have tea with milk. First of all, Sleepy Time Tea, heck no. Second of all, tea with milk, no. Wow, he juked me hardcore. There you go, got him. A sardine that was one inch in length. Gave me that much trouble. That's silly. Well, now I for sure know that I have a sardine for usage in uh, the community center. Anchovy, a record-breaking anchovy. Nice, nice. I appreciate it, but I'm getting bored of these particular fishies. Let's do a quick sweep round just to see if there's any more stuff. There is. There's a muscle. As I said, cockles and muscles. Lie, lie, oh. A little bit of clay makes my day. And let's check over here. What do I need for this? 300 pieces of wood. And I can fix that. And I think there's a whole bunch of stuff over there I could pick up too. I wonder if any of that stuff is useful. Excuse me. Uh, hello, dude. I don't have anything I think you want. The forest is a wonderful place. Would you like a forest berry then? Oh. Okay. Uh, you and I misread each other, I think. <laughs> you said you love the forest, so I gave you a berry that tastes like the forest, and you're like, this is gross. <laughs> I think I think you need to work on explaining yourself a little better, because... <laughs> you misled me a little bit right there, my man. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed in there. At that one. I need more flowers. Really swing by and just check to see 
Ah, tomorrow is Pam's birthday, so why don't we grab the beer right now? This way, if, it's, if they're open. Hey there, my man. Hello. Can I not? Are you not serving yet? Is there like a time that I have to wait to? Like nothing until five o'clock? Mm. My tea's gone. Ah, uh, I'll pay better attention to you guys now. Sorry, but the tea it was was is critical. It's pretty much mission critical. Pam's coming. Would you please serve me? Well, thank you. I'm glad I'm always welcomed here. What I really want... Is this where I get... Ah! No. No, stop that. No, stop that. No! What did I do? I, I didn't mean to buy that. I didn't mean to buy that bread. I misclicked on things. I feel stupid. I feel stupid. I can't sell it there. All right, I'll have to buy the. I'll have to buy it tomorrow. If I buy the beer tomorrow and stick around there at like five o'clock, I'll just see there. I'll just go there at five o'clock. That should work, right? Yeah. No need to make things more difficult than they are already. Let's uh, let's be honest here. All right, let's do what we have to do. We'll keep that in. Oh, we'll keep one of these sardines. No. We'll keep one. One of those sardines. Those herrings go. That sardine can go. That anchovy can go. I guess I'll eat the bread. I might as well. And now we'll get rid of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of the seaweed. We'll bring up the uh, both these guys. We'll decide when we're there which one we want to get rid of and which one we want to keep. I don't see any value. I mean, like, I know they're valuable. But um, so let's bring that up. Let's put this away. I uh, will sell those guys. We'll put that away. Do you have any bait? No bait. Okay, so I can't put bait on the rod. I want to fish in the lake up there is what I want to do. All right, cool. That'll get us up there and uh, to the community center, I should say. And then at that point, it's going to be dark, so we might... Ah, oh, we could do a little bit of, of nighttime fishing if we can find some salmon berries on the way, which we should be able to find. Now we can just kind of see if we can't catch a couple, like an eel or uh, some of the other stuff that's a little bit more unique in terms of that. Nice, daffodil. I'm a fan of daffodils, cause the ladies love them. Let's get in here. I think we might complete something with this. First of all, over here. The crab pot bundle. A cockle or a mussel, either one will work. And uh, it's a bivalve that often lives in clusters, and this is a common saltwater clam. We'll get rid of the common clam then. I'll keep the bivalve thing. That sounds cool. <laughs> I don't know what it exactly means, but so what's my gift? Crab pots. Cool. Works in streams, lakes, and the ocean. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh, sardine. Boop. Sardine is taken care of in there. River fish bundle. Anything else I'm close to in here? Uh, is there a night fishing, lake lake bundle? Nothing else. I don't think I'm close to anything else necessarily. Ah, right, cool. Up, oh, we open up something else. Let's go check it out. I think it's a bunch of gold and a bunch of other stuff. I think it's primarily gold. Which I don't think I have enough gold sitting around right now to just willy-nilly give it to these guys. But it's a blacksmith bundle. I could do some of that already. I could do some of the adventures bundle. I'll have to start saving my uh, bat wings. I didn't think, I didn't remember that. Quartz, and I'll have to save some of these too. Not a big deal, not a big deal. That will not be terribly difficult to get done, to get accomplished, I should say. In the meantime, well, uh, what was that noise? Uh, not a big deal, not a big deal. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. Scared. I'm a little scared. Can I create bait? Do I know how to make bait? Yep, with bug meat, which I think I sold all my bug meat. Alright, so I think that a, a trip to the mines might be more beneficial than otherwise previously said. Because I don't think I have bug meat at home. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, huh. 
I could just switch between a couple different levels and just kill things. That's a possibility. I won't do that tonight. I won't bother with that tonight, I should say. Let's see if there's any more uh, flowers to pick up, though, because I think they're kind of important. At least the daffodils are really good in terms of uh, gifts, so I want to make sure I have some of those at all times for gifts. For gifting purposes. Porpoises? I don't want to gift any porpoises anything. Just people with purpose. Let's put that away. Daffodil can go away. And this uh, mussel can also go away. I thought about keeping it because it's kind of cool. And I was like, nah. Skim, don't be silly. Just, just get rid of it. Oh, hello. Well, you're kind of stuck there, dude. I don't think I have to worry about you. I'm going to be tired soon. Hopefully I can finish this first. There you go. Alright, so I'm feeling sluggish. I'm overexerted myself. I'm falling asleep. But I figured now would be the time to do it. Well, maybe not with like monsters getting up and growing nearby. But uh, I definitely just wanted to kind of... Oh wait, do I not get all my, my re relaxation back then the next day? I don't remember what the case is with that. But I just wanted to kind of use the rest of my energy up while I had it. Since it's still kind of early in the day. Hi there, Lily. I guess it's time for bed, guys. Let's go to sleep. Plenty of time to relax. Farming did well for us. Forging did okay. Fishing did pretty decent. And other, we got some money back from the baguettes. So, I'll take it. Awesome. Good morning, world, and all who inhabit it. Hello. Let's go ahead and look at living off the land. We're back in with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. Our refreshing rain, a farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. Use this to your advantage. Well, thank you so much. Unfortunately for me, it's not raining right now. But fortunately for me, I got a bunch of leeks, a bunch of dandelions, a bunch of horseradishes. I am looking like I am in good shape right here with this random spring crop bundle. And uh, I'm going to have a ton of daffodils. And all these daffodils, all the ones I don't use at least, are going to be getting saved up for the purpose of providing me with stuff to gift people with. So let's uh, let's actually keep them all. Let's get rid of... Um, put those guys in there for now. We'll, get, we'll uh, use those guys for gifts first. Wild horseradish, dandelions, leeks. Are there any reason for me to keep those? I mean, maybe the leek is a gold. I might want to keep that one for that one event that comes up before too terribly long. Otherwise, crafting maybe, if there's any crafting that I do with them. An assortment of wild spring seeds. I don't know how many it is. It gives you 10? That's totally worth it. I should've been doing that way from the, from the get-go. How many do I need? I need one of each. It gives me 10 total, so it definitely pays it back. We'll do that. We'll do one of those. There you go. Cool. So I invested four and you get ten. And then you kind of... I'm hoping that I get... Uh, at least more than one daffodil would be worth it for me. The daffodils are what I'm really after with this one right there, guys. They seem to make a pretty solid gift. I haven't found anybody who doesn't like daffodils yet. And uh, some people love daffodils, so... I was told there's no shame in going on the wiki and finding out what people like. I do plan on doing that, by the way, when I pick a particular person to court. But otherwise, in general, just giving gifts and um, getting favor. You know, I figured daffodils appear to be one of the most efficient ways to do that at the time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I know, with what the game tells me is good. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Uh, that is a silly kind of. I know what it means, but where did that one come from? Are like geese particularly like, are, are like the female geese like very bossy to dude geeses? I don't know. Isn't that kind of what that means? Like what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Basically means whatever is good for her is good for him. And now I'm the kind of guy who is always, huh, I think Lily's having an eye closed right there. Uh, a, little, a little rusty poo. I've always been taught as a dude that you are to respect women and uh, and try to make things 
try to be good to them. Like, more than just, like, decent to them. Like, you should try to make, you should try to make their day as much as you can. Make them, you know, make them happy. Make their day. So, I don't know. Maybe it was just me who was taught that way, but I, I've never really had an issue with that kind of way of thinking. Not the, not the ladies are particularly delicate or anything, because I know girls that could kick my butt in a heartbeat. And uh, I don't blame them if they do. But, <laughs> no, but just because I, I've always kind of thought that, a, that a, a real gentleman will be uh, very, you know, very helpful if necessary, if asked to be help, to be helpful. And very giving and very charming and very sweet. I think it's our, you know, I think girls should treat guys with the same amount of respect too, but... Like, I, I don't know if I would want to be, if I'd want to, like, uh, I don't want to be the kind of guy that, like, um, is disrespectful to anybody, but, where do I hit this thing again? There it is, okay. Trying to keep uh, the art of fishing alive, we'll pay $100 any fisherman who catches two chub. Good luck. Cool. Where were they, where did I find them? I think they're river fish. Look at how little energy I have left, though. It's my fault for becoming exhausted yesterday. Well, this is a bummer. Um, alright, well I'm gonna go and uh, give Gunther some stuff, but in between that, I'm gonna also pick up some salmon berries and try to see if I can't get enough of them to eat and allow me to go fishing today, because I would like to go fishing today. Part of the purpose of this whole uh, this whole game is fishing, you know? I did, like I said, I did like the fishing a little bit better in, um, what you call it, Boop. in the place, the thing, with the people. Oh, I should go to the Adventurers Guild. Well, let's go to Gunther's. Let's go to the Blacksmith. I don't have anything for Blacksmith, do I? Let's go to Gunther, and let's go to the Adventurers Guild, man. We'll pick up any salmon berries on our way. So this is... Pretty cool. Let's put that there. It's like a spur from like the cowboy times. I didn't get a reward, did I? I might have. I wasn't paying much attention, to be fair. I think the sleepy time tea is kicking in. I'm feeling a little bit of a drain. What, what do we got here? It's way up there. But I think I can go around this way, which might give me... No, I can't. I was hoping I could, and there might be uh, some stuff to pick up over there. Like daffodils. Copper ore. I'll take whatever I can get. Anything nice up here? Nope. Nothing particularly interesting that away. Nothing up that away. I thought I could get directed to the Adventurers Guild there. I didn't think I had to go all the way around. That's kind of a bummer. Kind of a time sink right there. I mean, whatever. Whatever. Your game, you do with it what you want. I'll deal with it. You jerks. I'm kidding. You made a good game here. I'm pretty happy with the game. <laughs> don't don't take what I'm saying too seriously. This isn't the Ventures Guild, is it? No, it's Robin. Not. Don't want to talk to you. She's a carpenter, I'm pretty sure. And then down to the left is a coop person, the, the animal person. I'm not 100% sure. Is that Leah? Did I, was that the right one? I don't know anymore. My memory isn't what it used to be. Actually, I do I do struggle with memory, though, to be honest. I think this is the lake that was being referred to in terms of has the largemouth bass. Some man one of my comments. By the way, guys, feel free to leave comments on these. If you watch it and you enjoy it, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, yeah, sure, dude. Would you want a salmon berry? This is a great gift. Thank you. All right, cool. I found somebody who likes the salmon berries. <laughs> I didn't... No. Not yet. We'll determine if I want to or not after I uh, do a, little bit, a couple more things. Like, pick up all this stuff. No, stop asking to eat salmon berries. Alright, now what I'm looking for right now is uh, more salmon berries for either selling or for eating. It doesn't really matter. I mean, 10 a piece. It doesn't make sense to walk by one if you walk by one. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm walking in the area, it doesn't make sense not to hit it, but... Venture skill this way. 
There we are. Same berries. Anything pickable behind that? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get in here. Journal updated, yep. That's what I thought. Uh, deep in the mine, raising animals. Cool. Wooden blade, sneakers, a ring. Increases not back. Weapon precision. Rusty sword is probably worse than wooden, wooden blade, I bet. Level 2 sword. What is this? Level 1 sword? 3 to 7 damage. I feel like that's more than the rusty sword. Should I grab it? It's That's pretty cheap. Uh, we don't really need it, I don't think. Let's look at this. Cool. Help us keep the valley safe. That I can do, my friend. That I can do. Did you and I talk already? Gil? Come back when you got something to show me, kid. And you have anything else cool? No, you don't. All right. That's fine. That's fine. So if they're going to buy the rusty blade for uh, the rusty sword for 50, I doubt it's worth much more than like 200. So it's probably just about the same level. Uh, the question is, do we want to... Yeah, let's eat a couple and let's fish a little bit. Just a little bit, though. And then we'll... Uh... No, no, no. Stop. Turn first. There you go. Because I think that, that there could be a couple things in this uh, this lake that I could use. Now, it was a ch I think the chub was a river fish. I do have to catch those then. I'll focus on that being tomorrow's job, I think. For today, though, the focus is going to be on getting uh, Pam a drink. We're going to seduce her. Only mildly, though. She's only going to be like mildly sedu seduced. Is that going to be like... She's not going to be like, hey, take me home, cute boy. She's going to be like, wow, you're really sweet. Are you uh, seeing anybody? Be like, well, ma'am, <laughs> not right now. And I thank you. I'm flattered. But uh, I've got I've got some prospects. I'm, I'm looking all right right now. Thank you, though, for, for your offer. It's very kind, ma'am. Why do I feel like whenever I think of, like, over, like, not overly kind, but extraordinarily kind? Hey, there's a carp. That wasn't a chub. Whenever I think of, like, people were, like, very, very kind, like almost too kind. I think of like southern people, like southern gentlemanly or southern like like a, like an older woman in the south is just like, yo, sweetie, come on in. I got some pie for you, and I have. This is probably really stereotypical. I hope I'm not insulting too many people. Sometimes, sometimes, some sometimes you insult people without a, without intending to. No, I mean no insult. I think that being a southern woman or dude would be pretty freaking awesome. Hey, a bullhead. I think that's one that I needed for the whatchamacallit. The community center. Let's stop by the community center, see if the bullhead is, is in there. I'm pretty sure it is. And then uh, we'll head down and get Pam a drink. And that'll probably call it for today, I think. A couple perfects right there. I'm getting better at this, guys. Another bullhead. That means we get to sell one, too. Happy with those results. Can't argue with them. Cannot argue with those, so... With those muscles. Hey, dude. How about a flower, man? He seemed, like, okay with it. Like, that was very thoughtful of you. You're not a total jerk. You're trying to seduce me? I'm married, you know. I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to seduce you, man. I'm just giving people flowers. Jeez. I didn't know people were so against getting flowers. If I had known, I wouldn't have given you a flower, man, you know? I'm not trying to be weird. Just trying to be nice. Goodness gracious. So I'm looking for the lake fish. Bullhead, right? Large mouse right there and bullhead right there. So let's put a bullhead in there. Should have put it where the other one was just to keep things even. Dang it. Dang it, Skim. Why do you disappoint me? And uh, let's pick this uh, salmon berry up here. It's right there. Not far enough out of, my, out of my way to say that it's not worth stopping at real quick. And we'll head down. We'll head down to the bar. We'll uh, buy our friend a drink. Although that's going to be the most expensive thing of the day. Yep, she's here already. Not terribly surprised. There you go. One beer. Place salmon with that. And, uh... Happy birthday! I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. I hope you really like that because you're always here. I feel like you should really appreciate a beer. Maybe you like something else better, but I thought I was being pretty kind. 
your cute penny, right? No. Give it to the lady. Thanks, this looks nice. I really should just find out what people like. <laughs> I know Haley likes flowers, though. Let's see if Haley's in. Haley, darling! Haley's not necessarily the one I'm going to court, by the way. I just know she likes flowers a lot. <laughs> so while I'm giving away flowers, I figured she should be the one to get one. Now, I should probably do some research, though, see what different people like. Have, like, a general understanding would not be a bad idea. Just, like, knowing which ones, you know, who likes what doesn't, isn't stupid. Ah, uh, should I buy bait? Um, do we want to do that real quick? No, he's going to be closed by the time I get over there. Not worth doing that if he's going to be closed. Maybe I should just buy bait, though, and get the lobster traps going with some bait that I purchased. It's probably still worth the investment. Alright, let's, uh, pick this guy real quick. And then a whole bunch of stuff can go in there today. All those, this, and the carp. Come on, let's put the carp in there too. I don't know if I took care of that or not yet in the uh, in the community center, if it's even in there, but it, I think it is. I'm not sure. All right, we're doing okay. We're making progress, guys, and progress is a good thing. So uh, let's go ahead and call this a night. I know it was early, very early, but we did not have a good night's sleep last night. So I think it's definitely time for uh, for bed. It's going to be an, an, a quicker uh, episode this time. So before, oh, a tapper, cool. I would definitely have to get that going. And a recycler machine. I don't really know if I need that. But uh, forging, a ton of money. Fishing a little bit. Another little bit. We made out on the forging yesterday. Big bucks. Big buckaroonies. So... Uh, thanks guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that great, awesome, fun stuff. You know, I really do appreciate it. Most importantly, as always, peace out.